In this video, I'm going to show you how to clip in Bebonia curly hair extensions for instant volume and length. I start off by parting my hair and sectioning it. You always want to start sectioning your hair from the bottom of your neck or the nape of the neck and work your way up. We recommend styling your hair extensions before clipping them in. You can also separate them and organize them based off of the number of clips. That way you know which one's going to go next. This is a honey blonde set that I custom colored. I darkened the roots and I added some low lights to blend with my natural color. Everyone's hair is different, especially curly hair. Therefore, the way you clip in the extensions may vary. Today I decided to double stack the second weft that I'm clipping on. This is because I'd want the bottom to look more full. The key is to play around with it and figure out what really works for you. As you know, once you separate curly hair, it tends to get frizzy. It is important to refresh your curls in between sections. One of my go-tos to refresh my curls is Olaplex number no. six. This is a light cream that I like to use on my natural hair and I also use it on the extensions. I like it because it adds shine, it smooths out my hair, and it helps my ends look more hydrated. Since my hair was already previously styled, it already has product on it. So I am adding a little bit of water to reactivate the gel and a small amount of the Olaplex number no. six. At the end of the day, I don't want it to be too heavy. It makes a big difference to refresh your natural hair in between sections. This will help you reduce frizz and therefore will help your hair blend with the extensions and reduce it from poking out. We highly recommend having your extensions trimmed or cut to match your natural shape. As you can see here, these are my front extensions that actually go on my left side. This helps create a smoother transition between my hair and the extensions. A must when clipping on curly hair extensions is to not leave any gaps in between the wefts. This is super important because if you do, then you will notice that there's going to be a gap towards the ends of your hair. For beginners, we do recommend that you clip in your extensions in front of a mirror. This will help you determine whether or not the placement of the weft is correct. As you're clipping in the set, open the curls in order to make them look more natural. We have created a super detailed step-by-step -step video showing you exactly what products to use and how to style your Bebonia extensions for a super defined bouncy curl. Check out that video on our YouTube page. Clipping this piece towards the front of my face or my temple will help conceal the separation between my natural shorter hairs that frame my face. Always check your weft placement in the mirror just to ensure that it isn't poking out or it's not visible. For me, I know that this is a place where I can clip it in and it won't be visible because that's where I normally do it. Massage your root to stimulate volume. I have some pieces left to clip in. I can tell right here on the sides that I'm missing, which is why you can see the separation. I 
I used Olaplex number no. zero and number no. three to revive this set of extensions. I've had them for a while and they needed some TLC. I'm super happy with the results as they look super soft, shiny, and bouncy. We created a step-by-step -step video showing you exactly how to use the Olaplex system to revive an old set of hair extensions. Massage the roots of your hair for more volume, then fluff the ends of your extensions to break the curl cast. I'm using my favorite oil to add shine to my hair and to the extensions. I just add a few drops, I don't want to overdo it. I rub my hands together to distribute the product on each hand, then I scrunch my hair all around. And just like that, I was able to go from short shoulder length hair to long, beautiful, luscious curls.